Hello my dear friends, welcome back to Sparkle with Jyoti, hope you are doing good and uh, today's video is going to be about uh, if you want to speed up your decision and you have applied like for a visa and you are waiting for your decision and it's somehow getting delayed then this video is going to be for you. So uh, you know I'm going to talk about uh, three pointers which you can use and uh, get your process of getting visa faster okay. Uh, but before I start guys, I'm going to request you to please hit the subscribe button right now because I have noticed, you know, like almost 70% of the people who are just watching the videos and they have not subscribed. <laughs> so that really breaks my heart guys because, you know, whatever work I am doing and like whatever hard work I'm putting in, uh, at least, you know, subscribing is the least what you can do, you, can, you guys can do and it's absolutely free, it doesn't cost anything. So please consider subscribing guys and I'm so sorry I have been, uh, I have not, not been able to upload the video because I had a year infection and I still have it but uh, I like my one year is like closed I'm on antibiotics right now and uh, I do have my other business also to take care of but uh, you know uh, finally I am here today uh, filming the video and uh, putting up because I know you guys look forward to the videos so thank you so much for your support and now let's get started with the first point okay uh, first of all your documents you know that is like so 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 important I cannot stress enough about it that your documents which you're submitting has to be thorough and uh, consider adding more but not less you know the more is better than you know is always better uh, so if uh, don't go by the like a book if they have supposed said that okay fine marriage certificate is not required but you do have a marriage certificate and if you are applying for a visa both of you like husband and wife then uh, just submit it it's no harm in you know giving extra documents but uh, if anything is missing then that will add on to delay your visa you know if they have any questions if they have any doubts they are going to send you a email or they will contact you and again the the process of getting the visa gets delayed right so make sure that you uh, check the documents properly and thoroughly if you have any doubt any questions you know don't uh, wait or don't just ignore it but write to migration uh, agency they have a very good uh, uh, email system you know they are very quick actually to answer that as per you know my experience they have been really very quick to answer the questions or queries and uh, you can you know also uh, take uh, take help from someone if anybody is expert or if anybody has already gone through the same process you know you can ask them take advice from them you can write to migration agency and ask uh, questions you can even call them you know there is a, a line a number which uh, it's not available like 24 by 7 but there are some certain time uh, duration where they are available and they will mention that in the website so you can check uh, that and uh, you can call them during those times there might be some waiting <laughs> so don't mind of course they have so many people calling right so be patient but uh, definitely email i think is faster but you can also call them and you can check and uh, clarify your doubts and you know uh, make sure that you answer everything correctly because there are a lot many uh, documents and forms and whatever i'm talking about i'm going to mention the description box so do not forget to check it out and if you still have doubts of course you can ask me so um, you know filling the documents is very very important and uh, uh, filling the right documents and if you have any questions get it clarified and uh, submit the documents correctly so guys the second point to get your visa faster like you know in process uh, is to go to professional way okay uh, there are employers uh, like you know uh, top employers usually have uh, these tie ups with uh, relocation agencies and uh, which are recognized by a migration agency okay so that makes your application go pretty fast and that is called like the faster application process fast track process and uh, usually the companies do have tie ups with uh, a relocation agency agencies and even if they don't have tie up they are registered with migration usually okay so you can check it out if your employer who, who has sponsored your visa or who has uh, offered you a job is you know with the migration agency or no but if they are that will definitely fasten the application process and you will get visa lot quicker than you know uh, applying like individually or applying uh, uh, in any other way now guys we come to the last the third and the least known but the most important uh, point and uh, which is you know what happens you know if you're uh, if you still have not got your decision it's been maybe a few months and you have 
not got your decision and you have no clue what to do and there are so many people you know who dm me like almost every day and ask you know that they have applied for a visa they have applied for a student visa they have applied for different kinds of visas and they have still not got decision and what they are supposed to do so this point especially for you guys uh, in order to uh, you know fasten the process for example for you know in case you have applied for a work permit or you have applied for a citizenship and you have not got decision then there is a online form okay that form is available on the migration website and it's available in swedish which i will link in the description box so do you can check it out and uh, you have to fill that form and uh, submit to the migration agency which has few personal details which you need to fill and also for the people who are you are applying for example if you are applying for your children your partner you know you need to fill fill uh, their details as well in that particular form now who can submit this request okay the you no know, faster uh, application or faster process of the visa request uh, the people who have applied for visa 6 months ago and have still not received your uh, decision then this form is for you you can apply for this uh, uh, fill this form and apply for the quicker decision once you have submitted this request you know this form you have filled and you have submitted the request after that uh, usually it takes them for them 4 weeks to reply okay and uh, in case they reject or they find you know that no they cannot process your uh, decision then you can apply to migration court okay and uh, from there then they will also decide whether you can you get the visa or no so usually these these cases are very high priority cases you know so they will give attention to these cases uh, first and after this also like you know if you you get the decision and you are successful then you know congratulations everything is fine and good to go but if not then you know unfortunately there's nothing more you can do and uh, you can just maybe you know wait and uh, apply in some other way few months down the line but then you know uh, this is the last step that migration court uh, you can take their help you can apply there and see uh, how it goes if you really want like a quicker decision this step of course doesn't guarantee that you know you will be getting your decision but there is no harm to try right so guys these were the three tips which i wanted to share with you guys and i hope it helps you and answers maximum of your questions if not you can definitely email me at sparklewithjyoti@gmail.com or you can dm me on jyoti sparkle on instagram i'll be happy to answer all your questions and do not forget to like subscribe comment and share guys that means the world to me please uh, you know subscribe to the channel i highly request you and i will see you in my next video till then stay positive and stay happy guys stay safe bye bye take care